Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to Yen Truck Gaming. Thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day. As we're getting started here, just a quick reminder for you guys to please like the video, make sure you leave me a comment, and definitely subscribe if you want to see more. But either way, I hope you guys enjoy this episode of Portal Revolution. All right, I guess let's just keep going here. As a consequence of semi-recent events, some aerial faith plates could be misconfigured and launch objects into arbitrary directions. Be careful. Okay. Looks like we're gonna have a uh, faith plate here. Like I say, I know we're only a handful of chambers into the game, but so far, I mean, everything is pretty strong. It's got just enough of the it's got just enough the, of the familiarity to it, but still feels new at the same time. The voice acting is strong so far. I think uh, what's going to do it for me, the kicker is going to be... If we get an antagonist. Because that's really what made the game... In the other two, in the original Portal game and also in Portal 2, was um, dealing with Gladys and Wheatley. So I'm anxiously awaiting a antagonist. All right, let's see where they want me to go here. I mean, I got this thing here. There's buttons over here. Let's just see where this takes me. You herded me. There we go. Good. That okay. faith plate is now properly calibrated. Now where where are you gonna take me over here? Okay, just trying to get the, uh, the lay of the land a little bit here. Whoa! So that's why there are holes in the sea. <laughs> that was super cool! Alright. Let's see if we can get anything with this now. Where did it go? Oh, it's just going back and forth. All right. Well. Can I catch it? Put this on this button. It's gonna hold this open. And then we'll need to go over here, I guess. Whee! Whoa! Yeah, I shot shot. Shot too soon. Uh, back over. Not again. Well, that's definitely wrong. Give me a second. There. Try that. I'm trying it. There we go. Good. That big plate is now properly calibrated. Okay. Back over. Oui. 
I feel like I have to launch myself out of there, but maybe not. I don't. Maybe it's the only reason that's there is just to get this block. on the button. But I guess how do I get in? There. There's another button over here. I do need to use this. We just go be going in circles. Um, I think I need to... Okay. Now let me get uh, lined up here. There we go. Nice. Uh, there was a button over here. Is that a giant football? Okay. Catch it before it falls. Ah. Oh, that was close. That's interesting. That's a new one. Well done. From now on, all aerial faceplates should be configured correctly. I promise. Sure you do. This guy's kind of like Wheatley. I like him so far, but he's maybe turning out evil. If it holds true to the other games, we'll see. I have not looked up this game at all. I really don't know. I don't know anything about what happens or how many uh, chambers there are, or how long the game should take. I really well don't done, know. Candidate. You are nearing the final test chamber. Oh, so already? This last chamber and completing the testing track will grant you membership into the Aperture Science Human Emergency Response Team. That doesn't seem right. So this is the last chamber, and then when I get to leave, then the cake is a lie and then they'll have to bring me uh, and then we'll have like an evil guy or something he's he's gonna he's gonna be like no I can't let you leave um here's a button not sure what this goes to. It goes to the door. There's uh, so many things happening. All right, where do I get my stuff set? This is where I came in. Let's go look over here for a second. Nothing there. Yeah, just normal stuff. So I've just got to find where these buttons go to, I guess? 
Okay. Nope. Nope, nope. Nothing in here, nothing down there. Um, maybe there's something over here? Let's see if we can get a better look at it. Oh, I completely missed this one. This is what I need right here. So then I can wait. What? Okay. I guess the question is, can I shoot? That's not going to do anything. Um, Trying to figure out how to, uh, because I have to be on this when it goes up, right? All right, let's try this. I know I have to break the beam somehow, but I don't know what to break the beam with. Hmm. 
All right, let me see here. Maybe we take the block over. Put it on the button. No, I have to use this to block that, that beam somehow. Oh, wait. And I needed to go through that orange one, so... Yeah. Well. Well, that shouldn't have taken me as long as it did. Hang on. Uh, I missed. There we go. Okay, and now I need a block, right? We can do it. Whoa. Not sure how I'm not dead, but I'm not dead. <laughs> yeah, apparently you can just walk right through this beam with no problem. All right, here we go again. And hopefully that did it. It did not do it, okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. do this. And get a new block. I, these beams are supposed to be frying me and they totally are not, so. Okay. Come on. There we go. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I should be dead. Strange. Um, Okay, now can I just jump through here? Yep. Okay, here we go. I don't know what's up with those beams, but whatever. As a reminder, your Aperture Science provided health insurance does not cover injury or fatality from immolation from the Aperture Science Hard Light Bridge. Rest assured that unlike your fragile human tissue, all Aperture Science equipment has been built to withstand temperatures of up to 4,000 degrees Kelvin. Nice. Look, I think this is the first time I've seen one of these. They're watching. I also have not been paying attention. Does this voice have a name? All right, introducing the, uh, the bridge. Uh, 
it down. Okay. Now what? Can I just jump for it? Okay. Look, these don't do anything. Oh, there's the bridge up here. Got it. So, I mean, surely that's not it. No, I have to, uh... Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Got it. So let me come over here for a second. Let's see the things that I can see. I can't walk through that or my bridge will break. Do I need to go up there? I don't think so. That's where I was. Let me take a look again. Whoa! Take it easy, my guy. Um, this one I needed to go where? I don't remember. Down here? Whoa, barely made it. What did that do? That just opened up where I was before. It did absolutely nothing. Ouch. over there. Okay, the plate's gonna take me to over here.
All right, let's figure this out first. Okay, so that's gonna hold this open so that all of my stuff can pass through. back over here for a second. I'm not sure. So I need to block this. Right. Let's do that first. Let's block this. Okay, got it. Okay, the thing is I need more than one block. This is gonna get me to this plate, all right. See if you fixed it. Hey, you did fix it, good for you. All right, why am I over here? Do this, then I lose my block. Does does me no good. So I need that. And then I need to come up here. this. So then I can walk over here. Get on this. Actually, yeah, I do need to get on there. Okay, which will then take me back in here so I can get this. out here. Get on that. Uh. If I do this, am I gonna lose my block? No, just my portal. I can't do that. Where's my other block? There has to be another one. Now I can't even get back up here. Did I miss one? Okay, so 
So this one has to go in here. Wait, I have to block it first. I always forget that. This one goes on here. Be another plate somewhere, right? Still block that off, so that's done. The problem is, I have to be able to get back up here to get this block and put this block on this button. I can get across, but I can't, there's nothing for me to hold the door open. Um, let's see. Because if I move this, am I going to lose my portal or my bridge? Okay, my bridge is good. Hang on. Oh, there we go. protocol demands I dispose of all test subjects, so I had to intervene before you were, uh, baked. Oh, thanks, bud. I'll be honest with you now. There is no Aperture Science Human Emergency Response Team. I mm. made it up. Sorry for lying to you. The cake is before a lie. I can explain why I brought you here, we need to get you registered as an Aperture employee. We don't want security systems to hunt you down, after all. No. The Guardian and Intrusion System doesn't like it when test subjects escape the chambers. <laughs> There's a security checkpoint nearby. Follow me. Can't, can't we just stay here? For a minute? Oh. That doesn't do anything. Alright, I guess they're gonna follow my new buddy. Uh-oh, X marks the spot. That must be where uh, he planned to have me land. Okay, I'm here. You want me to do it? I got it. Dark in here, isn't it? Oh, yes, where are the you? Checkpoint is right there. Right. 
Where are you? Where'd you Maybe go? you can Whoa. get through this stationary Jeez. portal emitter. You scared me. Hang on. They've got me chipped or something. Notice to investors, life insurance is void upon leaving pre presentation room. Aperture Science Laboratories will not be prosecuted for any long or short-term radiation poisoning. By entering the presentation room, you agree to have read and accepted the health and safety guidelines as follows. Oh, a lot of little text. Yep. I read it. I agree. Okay. So you want me to find a place to put my uh, my portal? Is that what you're saying? Like this? I did it. I kind of want to watch a movie though. There it is. Hm. There it is. The controls are manual, so I can't help you. Got a clue? Yeah, button. It's ticking. Okay, so you have to stand in the <sighs> scanner to get registered. Any plan how? Yeah, I got a plan. Don't you worry. Ready? Here we go. Oh, good idea. I think that did the trick. Thanks. Good. I can now register you as our new janitor. All right. Welcome to Aperture. You can call me Sterling. Sterling. I'm the manager and your new supervisor. Scott Sterling. Scott Sterling, the man, the myth, the, the legend. Where we want to go? Okay, we have no time to lose. Right this way. I clean this place up. You need a janitor. This place is filthy. Oh, wait, you, uh, can't go that way. Why? Find a way around. <sighs> Sterling, where are you? The doors are a little wonky. Can I go in every room now? Well done. Not everyone gets this position, you know. <laughs> you should be proud. I am a proud janitor. Game design 101. Clever. Remember, only one person per file. Push changes regularly. Coordinate with colleagues. A pull a day keeps the merge conflict away. Okay. Sterling! Where did you go? Cleaning huh? up after humans that don't exist anymore. Hmm. You're starting to sound a little creepy. I like it. All right, you want me to get in here or are we going around? All right, in we go. All right then, up we go. I'm so excited. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video. If you wanna see more content like this, feel free to subscribe and be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.